you all for coming. We're going to, uh, we're going to play a game, a very famous game together. And uh, Lorena, I'm going to get you to help me if you would. We both have um, a part to play in this little play. And uh, I'll explain your role, and then I'll have you come up here for a moment. Now, you're playing the part, Lorena, of the, the beautiful, world-famous psychic, all right? And uh, I'm playing the part of the uh, hard-boiled, um, ruggedly handsome detective. Now, it's the only time I get to play something like that. Um, now, your role, you see, uh, is uh, world-famous, and uh, you help police detectives all over the world solve crimes, supposedly. See, uh, being the skeptic that I am, I, you're going to have to prove yourself to me. Okay. Now, here is the data that I gathered from the last murder that I successfully solved. So you're going to resolve the case, and if you can successfully intuit the, the correct room, the correct murder weapon, and the correct suspect, then I'll believe you, and you'll be working for the force. Now, the identity of the, uh, of the actual killer is right here, and I'm just going to leave that sitting right there. So, Lorena, would you just take your spot here by, by the board? There's a, there's a little piece of chalk up top. Now, you see, I'm going to give you a chance to intuit uh, the, the correct information, and then you're going to circle your choices so that we can all see and that you can't change your mind and I'll have you dead to rights as the phony that I know you are, okay? Now, uh, the, the murder was particularly grisly. It took place in a, um, a huge mansion. I want you to imagine you're walking up the steps of this mansion now. Your incredible ability should take you directly to the room where the murder took place. Go ahead and make your choice now by circling it. Have you done that? Yeah. Now, you've entered the room in your imagination. You see the body laying on the floor in, a, in a, a, a pool of blood. Beside the body is the murder weapon. You can see that clearly in your mind. Go ahead and circle the correct murder weapon now. Now, finally, in your imagination, you're going to catch a glimpse of the killer. Go ahead and circle the name of the suspect you believe committed the murder. Now, you've made your choices, you can't change your mind. I'm going to now uh, prove just how phony psychics are. You see, the, the murder took place in the dining room. Which one did she circle? It's a coincidence, it's just a complete coincidence. <laughs> And, and the murder weapon, the weapon used, was a huge gun. Which one did she circle? Maybe there is something to the psychic stuff. If she gets this, then she's hired for sure. Who did you circle? Yes, who did you choose? I chose Professor Plum. Professor Plum? She's the real deal, folks. Give her a round of applause. <laughs>